Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In computing and network field, we should know at least four types of numeral systems. A numeral or number system is a way to represent numbers. We use the base ten system or decimal system on a daily basis. Other three common numeral systems include base two binary. Base sixteen hex or hex decimal, and base eight octal. Today, my topic is conversion of hex decimal and decimal. Hex or hex decimal is a positional numeral system with a base of sixteen. It uses sixteen distinct symbols, zero to nine, and a to f. A B C D E F can be in a lower case. They represent the decimal values 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 respectively. Let's see two examples. Example one: convert B six to decimal. First, let's draw a weight table,、uh, which we will use in the conversion. Hex is a positional. Number system. Each position has some powers of sixteen. We write down B and six under the table, matching their positions. Let me change B to eleven in decimal, and we do not change six because six in hex is six in decimal. They are the same. Let's do it. Eleven times sixteen. And we get one hundred seventy-six. Six times one, because sixteen to zero power is one, and we get six. Last step, we add them up. One hundred seventy-six plus six, and we get one hundred eighty-two. Thus, the hex number B six is one hundred eighty-two in decimal. The numbers written in multiple bases can be confusing. I use the standard notation, where a subscript denotes the base of numbers. Sixteen means hexadecimal, and ten means a decimal. Let's see example two. Convert hex number A five nine C to decimal. It looks much more complicated than example one. But the method is the same. We draw the weight table. Four columns are enough. If you convert five-digit hex, you need five columns. If you convert six-digit hex to decimal, you need six columns. We write down A five nine C under the table, making sure they match their positions. Change hex digit. To decimal values, A is ten in decimal and C is twelve in decimal, and we don't change five and nine because they are the same. Now let's do it. Ten times sixteen to the third power, and we get forty thousand nine hundred sixty. Five times sixteen squared, we get one thousand. Two hundred eighty nine times sixteen, and we get one hundred forty-four. Twelve times one, we get twelve. Now we add up these four numbers, and we get decimal number forty-two thousand three hundred ninety-six. The method of converting decimal to hexadecimal is division by sixteen. The process involves six steps. Step one: divide the decimal number by sixteen. We treat the division as integer division. Number two: write down the remainder. Step three: divide the result again by sixteen. Step four: 
Repeat step two and three until result is zero. Step five: Convert the remainders to hex equivalents. Step six: Write down the remainders from the last to first. Now let's see example. We will use this six-step method. Now let's see example one. Convert decimal number two fifty-six to hex number, and we will use this six-step method. Step one: divide two hundred fifty-six by sixteen. The result is sixteen, and the remainder is zero. So step two, we write down the remainder zero. Step three, we divide the result sixteen by sixteen again. The result is one, and the remainder is zero. We write down zero. Step four, we repeat this process by dividing one by sixteen again, and we get result zero, and the remainder is one. Once the result is zero, we stop. Step five: We convert these decimal remainders on the right to hex decimal. Last step: We write down the remainders from the last to first. Therefore, the decimal number two hundred fifty-six is one zero zero in hex decimal. Let's see one more example. Convert seven thousand five hundred sixty-two to hex number. Step one: Divide this number by sixteen. We get four hundred seventy-two, and the remainder is ten. Step two: Divide four hundred seventy-two by sixteen again. We get twenty-nine, and the remainder is eight. Step three: Divide twenty-nine by sixteen again, and we get one, and the remainder is thirteen. Step four: Divide one by sixteen again, and we get zero, and the remainder is one. Remember, once the result is zero, we stop. Step five: We convert. These remainders to hexadecimal. Ten is a, eight is eight, thirteen is a d, and one is one. Last step: write down the remainders from the last to first. Thus, the decimal number seven thousand five hundred sixty-two is one d eight a. Below this video, I put several. Questions for practice, and also I provide their answers for your reference. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.